welcome back to my channel and if you are new then a big huge welcome to you. Today is something that I haven't done for a while, but well, two months, and I really do apologise in advance uh, because I've been so busy with everything I just completely forgot about it. So today we're going to be doing another story time with Sez and I brought a very special guest with me. I brought Fred. Fred! He's not really in a happy mood at the moment. I tried to like make him settle for the video and he's just a bit hot and bothered at the moment. Hi! Where is it, boy? Oh, oh no, he, he's really happy now. He's really wanting cuddles. And the reason why I brought him today is because I'm going to do a very special stories with Sez. And the special thing is that I'm going to be reading to Fred. And the reason why I'm going to be reading to him is because that I have found something, and which was through my dad, a very special, interesting thing that's happened recently. Yeah, he's a good boy. Good boy. Apparently, we've heard from a neighbour that schools are actually encouraging students to read to dogs instead of people. But sometimes students can get a little bit shy and nervous when it comes to reading to people, but this is something fairly new which I never heard of before. And I don't know enough information to talk about it a lot, but I think I'm just going to leave the description for now, and we're going to put that to the test. Aren't we? Fred? Fred, what's this? <laughs> no, I just don't think he's too bothered. So today we're going to be reading one of my favourite books I used to love when I was little and it's called The Blue Moon. And this is not really a very big word sort of book like I did with the others, but I wanted to read this one because I felt that it would be easier for Fred. And just because it's a little bit hot at the moment, he might want to get out and about after being cooped up in the summer house. So, shall we begin then, Fred? Well, I think that was a yes, wasn't it? So, are you really comfortable, Fred? Then I will begin Blue Moon by Mike Inkpen. The day after my birthday, Kipper found a soggy blue balloon in the garden. It was odd because the balloons at my party were red and white. I blew it up. And as you can see, there is a dog and there is a little boy blowing up his blue balloon. What do you think about that? Did you like the story so far? I've only just started. <laughs> At first I thought it was just an ordinary balloon, but now I'm not so sure. It is a shiny and squeaky and you can make rude noises with it. And if you give it a rub, you can stick it on the ceiling, just like an ordinary balloon. I think Fred has gone out because <laughs> I think he's had enough really, so I'm probably going to have to continue without him. But there is something odd about my balloon. It doesn't matter how much you blow it up, it just goes on getting bigger. So, that's there. And then, there we go. <gasps> Look at this! And bigger until... And as you can see, the big balloon has just blown down. <laughs> you could just see it all the way down, all the way down. That must be quite fun. <laughs> You see, it never bursts, never ever. I have squeezed it, I have squashed it, and whacked it with a stick. I have kicked it, run it over, and stretch it. And Kipper has attacked it, but it is indestructible. I think that my balloon has strange and wonderful powers. The other day, it disappeared completely. Now the balloon is gone just there, but then what's this? And when it came back, it was square! And this morning, while I was taking it for a walk, high up into the air! And it decided to take me for a fly. It took me up, and up, and up. Whoops! <laughs> and finally, down. So, we can actually see there, the boy is actually bouncing with aliens. What are the aliens doing here? Maybe they just got up into space. It was quite a trip, but we were back in time for tea. So you find a soggy old balloon. Whatever you do, don't throw it away, especially if it's a blue one. You never know what to do next. 
And that was the story of the blue balloon. Turn that page open. The last page. What's it going to do next? Open the page. Well, it's gone. Oh, right. Thanks, Mum. You'll never know what to do with it next. You'll Look. Never You'll never know what it would do next. <laughs> thanks, Mum. That, that was good. I didn't know that um, it actually existed, the little stretch thing, but thanks, Mum. <laughs> As you can see, I really needed help with Mum because I didn't know there was something missing on the last page. So that was a pretty interesting conclusion. And yeah, I think Fred's has just had a bit enough and I don't know where he's gone because he must have gone back into the house. So that was the story of the blue balloon. I really hoped you enjoyed the story even though there was a little bit of hiccups in between but when it comes to filming it normally happens. And again, I do apologise for the long gap in between stories with Sez and I've missed it in June but there will be one coming at the end of August and I will guarantee that it will happen. So until then guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day and as always, keep on dreaming and never stop believing. And hopefully by the time I film next, I will be off the floor because it's really uncomfy here. <laughs> until then everyone, I will catch you very soon. Bye bye.